I still think Trunda is going to do more damage. The question is, by how much? Here. This is my Trunda team, and easily 1.7 million there. 741 right there. Welcome to another episode of Versus, where I take one champion and place them up against another champion in Hydra specifically to see who does more damage. Today, we're doing Thor versus Trunda. We all know Trunda is going to end up on top but like there's a few things i want to point out my thor five star blessing trunda doesn't have any blessing she is in gear that is not fully optimized meaning the enchantments aren't up the ascensions aren't all the way up for a lot of pieces of gear she's just not there yet but thor is at least for right now he's as maxed out as i can make him I'm showing you guys the uh, specific pieces of gear just so you can get a picture it's pretty much all damage. The The speed requirements aren't too much. With Trunda, it's just getting the right speed tune in, getting high attack, 100% crit rate, and crit damage. We don't really have to worry too much about anything else that I show you guys these pieces of gear. Yeah. And again, like crit damage, ideally this would be crit damage, but I need to rework it. So keep that in mind. Trunda's gear and blessings aren't there yet. Here are the total stats for Trunda. And actually let's look at a, a true value. We're looking at 206 speed and all of these stats here 6600 attack 300 percent crit damage and that's in lethal and um three pieces of merciless this move her a2 is basically going to be her big hitter because it's bugged and it just double triple dips the damage i, I can't explain it to you because i don't know it well enough but maybe somebody else can explain it in the comments why her damage is so busted on her a2 but this is the killer right here. And we're taking Helm Smasher, of course, the general nuking abilities. I think we've all seen Trunda runs before, so I'm not gonna focus too much on Trunda doing her specific Hydra run, but I'm giving you guys the, um, the preface to her gear and her setup. By comparison, like I mentioned, Thor is in nine pieces of Slayer. He's in a full set. His gear is fully ascended. Enchantments are basically as high as they're gonna go without me really spending all of my glyphs to get that last bit of extra one or two points in so uh you know there's that and i think it's going to be interesting to see thor is basically almost fully maxed out and trunda is kind of like half-assed there i still think trunda is going to do more damage the question is by how much here's thor's stats about 6,000. I think Trunda was just around the same. 230 speed. I think he's going faster. Uh, let me, hold on. Let me show you. Yeah, so 6,000 attack, 3,500 defense, 253 speed. I'm pretty sure he's going faster than Trunda, which means he should be pumping out more damage. Like, not pumping out more damage in the sense that he's going to hit harder, but pumping out more damage in the sense that he should be taking more turns, like, quantity-wise, doing more damage. Placing more hits. Uh, I can't articulate it properly. He's got more crit damage than Trunda as well. So keep that in mind. And then he has the Nature's Wrath Blessing. A five-star blessing. Trunda doesn't have any blessing. And pretty much the same masteries as Trunda. All right, so let's go ahead and take them into Hydra. All right, and here is the full auto team. This is the damage that I have for Trunda. We're just going to see how much she did. And then we're going to compare it to... Thor. So I'm going to use the same team and throw Thor in here. It's going to be full auto. I don't think he's going to do 422 million, but I mean, we'll see. All right. So I took Thor into normal. I replaced him with Trunda and he's doing quite a bit of damage. Like he's just smashing through everything and it's actually pretty amazing to see. Um, yeah. I mean, let's just keep watching the damage that he's putting out. This here, 1.4 million on that one head in the middle. Let me see if I can slow it down here. All right, hit again, 406 over here. Check the A1, 255, 207. Normally I have Trenda in this position and that's 1.3 million right there. Sky, his passive proc, that this is my Trenda team and easily 1.7 million there, 741 right there. He's just going ham, dude. Thor is just putting up these numbers. 481, 680 over here. 
for the most part, I just throw it on auto because I just, I have other things to do and <laughs> I just, I don't really bother with Hydra anymore. I just set it, walk away, go do something else and forget it. But this was pretty interesting to see and I kind of wanted to see the comparison between what Thor does and what Trunda does in the same team. And I think it's interesting to see because... Taurus, for an example, the most I've ever seen Taurus do was like 1.4 million with one of his hits. But, you know, Thor, and that was few, that was like one or two times that I've seen it, but Thor is actually putting up some pretty big numbers. I mean, uh, like, and he's doing it very easily. So like 600 there, and, and then his passive actually smacks pretty hard too. The one thing that I always have to worry about with my damage dealers is the reflect damage that sometimes goes up. So for example, this head and this head, if I don't get the, um, this, uh, what it's, what's this, a head of wrath and the head of suffering, if I don't get my block buffs up on them in time, then they get their reflect damage up and it kind of screws everything over. Dear God, 1.2 million. And Thor being in that Slayer set is just compounding just adding up that that extra damage yeah uh thor is no slouch 303 almost 304 million by himself i've heard people say that thor is basically the top tier damage dealer for hydra the only person or the only champion that could beat thor is trunda and it was interesting to see this comparison because i literally just put him in trunda's slot and he was able to do this much. Obviously, it's not the same as Trunda, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people can do even more with better builds or better synergy, whatever you want to might um, bring up, but this is still pretty amazing to see. I was pleasantly surprised to see that he was able to trail behind Trunda pretty well. And I don't know about you guys, but for me, this really kind of sets the undertone that a lot of people have been complaining about in terms of Trunda. Everybody's been saying, Trunda is stupid broken, like ridiculous. I don't know the specifics of it, like I said, I've heard that the A2 is a bug, but it's a bug that Polarium doesn't want to fix or Polarium doesn't want to do anything about. We've heard them say multiple times that they're in the works, working on a complex situation for Trunda or just Hydra in general, but I think it's insane. Now me as a Trunda abuser, obviously I like seeing big numbers, but if they nerfed Trunda, I don't think it would matter too much to me because uh, one, I don't value, uh, I don't really gain too much, um, what's the word, uh, enjoyment out of doing Hydra so much as I used to just because it's, you know what I mean? It's just one of those routine things that we do. Like it was fun when it first started and I still have fun every now and then when I get a cool champion like Thor to try out. But circling back to Trunda, like this really shows how broken Trunda is. I mean, Look at Trunda's gear and her setup, no blessings, and it's still crazy that she out damaged a fully or damn near fully optimized Thor Fayhammer. That's insane. <laughs>